Covenants can be complicated in property law, particularly when determining which ones represent personal obligations versus those attached to the land. The 1986 Maryland case of Gallagher v. Bell explores one such conundrum regarding a parcel of land that sold twice. In 1960, George and Judith Gallagher bought a home situated on half an acre of landlocked land in Montgomery County, Maryland. In the purchase agreement, the Gallaghers agreed to, one, dedicate half the streets bounding their lot for the installation of roads and utilities, and two, contribute their prorated share of the cost of the project, which was to be completed by developer F. Mead Bell at some point in the future. The agreement stipulated that these obligations were binding on the Gallagher's heirs, successors, and assigns. The following year, the Gallagher's executed another agreement with Bell that included this same covenant language, and the agreement was recorded by the county office. In 1979, the Gallagher's sold their property to Deborah Camelier. As a condition of the sale, Camelier insisted upon an agreement from the Gallagher's to indemnify her against liability associated with the covenant. Once Bell began work on the road construction project in 1983, he demanded $18,000 from Camelier in accordance with the covenant. When she refused, relying upon the indemnification agreement, Bell demanded payment from the Gallagher's, who also refused. Bell sued the Gallagher's in trial court. The Gallagher's contended that the covenant ran with the land and that their liability ended with their conveyance of the land. They asserted that any continuing liability was the responsibility of either Camelier or the party who later purchased the property from her. The trial court determined that the Gallagher's were responsible for obligations under the covenant and awarded Bell $7,000. The Gallagher's appealed. 